What's up guys, it's Crush here. I get a lot of questions about how to mod Battlefront 2 and modding tips and how I mod the game. So today I'm going to make a video discussing uh, all that. I'm going to go over how to uh, install Frosty Mod Manager, which is how you mod the game. And I'll give you some a couple of modding tips that I wish I knew in the beginning that, that will help you out. So first things first, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need a Nexus Mods account so you can download and install mods. Once you have that, go get WinRAR. I will link, I will have all the relevant links in, down in the description, so make sure you check out the description so you can get these links. Uh, WinRAR is free. I already have it downloaded and installed. So once you do that, you're ready to get to installing Frosty Mod Manager. I'll take you here to the Frosty Tool Suite. Um, there's a mod, man the mod manager, which is this version. Uh, we'll call it the stable frosty and then you have the editor this is only if you want to make mods so unless you actually like want to learn to make your own mods just ignore that and then you have the alpha this will take you to their discord and the link it will be in the announcements but i have it here and i already have the alpha installed so let's talk a little bit about the difference between the stable frosty and the alpha so basically uh the alpha version of Frosty, it's the newest version. It's a bit buggy, but it's awesome, honestly. I, I, it's got exclusive mods that only work with the alpha, and it's got a couple other nice features. So, when I say exclusive mods, most notably, I mean, I mean the Darth Bane mod that I have shown in a lot of my videos. As you can see, you need the Frosty Alpha for this mod. There's also quite a few other mods that are alpha specific, but um, yes, that's, there's one more thing that I personally really like about the alpha. It has a search bar, because as you see, I have a lot of mods. So this makes it incredibly easy to find mods if I, you know, make new profiles and stuff like that. So I, I think that's awesome. That's why I use the alpha, but you make your own decision. Now, the downloading and installing method to get Frosty up and running will be the same for both pro, for both the alpha and the stale version of Frosty. I already have the alpha installed, but to demonstrate how to do it, I'll download the stable version of Frosty. So I'm just gonna download it. Download, okay. Um, I'm gonna open it. Open it with WinRAR. Minimize this. All right, so you wanna create a folder on your desktop call it whatever you want. I'll just call it 5.9 and then open it, come to here, highlight these and drag them into it. You can close this now. Now that you're here, uh, right click on the Frosty Mod Manager application and then run it as an administrator. Say yes. Sometimes, for some people, it'll show the game here. For me, it doesn't. That's fine. You just click on new, and you need to find your game's exe file. Um, so, this will vary for some people. For me, I keep all my games on my D drive, so it's pretty easy to find. You want to find your origin games folder, or your, your Steam library, common apps, whatever uh, application you have Battlefront on. You want to go in there and find the exe file. So for me, it's right here. Find Battlefront 2. Act so now that I'm here actually, I'm gonna say another thing. If you see this mod data at this point, just delete it. Alright. So here's the exe file. There we go. Uh, select it, remember choice, press select, and here we go. This is the stable version of Frosty. As you can see, it's it's quite a bit different than the other Frosty. It doesn't have the space bar and stuff like that. And there's different options available to look at how you're modding the game. But yeah. So if you've come to this point and you've installed the normal Frosty, you're pretty much good to go in installing mods. But for the alpha, there's a few more things we have to do. So we're going to go back to Nexus. We're going to go on Nexus. And we're going to... We need two plugins. One is the gameplay handler and merger file. 
again, I will have links to these in the description, and the other is the Frosty Mod string merger file. So we're going to download these, and we're going to add them to the Frosty Mod Manager plugins folder. So. those this. so once you have those two downloaded go to your frosty alpha mod manager folder and you're going to open the plugins folder keep this open I'm going to open these two files with, with WinRAR and what you would do here is you simply just drag these files into the plugins folder. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. And from there, you're pretty much good to go. Um, I'll briefly show you how to download, apply, and launch a mod. Now let's just go on Nexus. All right, now that you have your mod downloaded, you can just go to import mods, or I think it's add mods on the Frosty Alpha. It doesn't matter. Regardless, you can just find your mod in your downloads. You can also just open it with WinRAR and drag it in your mod folder, but this is a lot easier. As you can see, you can install, install the mod, and this will pop up, and you can either double click it, if it shows up here, or you can just press apply mod. Show you apply mod and there and you can launch the game and play with mods so now I'm going to briefly go or I'm gonna go over a couple of modding guidelines I will call them because there are some things that will like, there are some potential problems you could run into when you're trying to mod Battlefront 2 so let's start with mods that are outdated so, any mod that has not been either uploaded or, or updated after May 1st of 2020 will not work. As you can see, these, four, these five up here have all been updated in the last year, or this year. You come down here. These two mods were last updated in July and April of 2019. They will not work. They will simply just cause your game to crash. So remember, anything during May 1st or after May 2020 is good to go. So one other thing is when you are using the Frosty Alpha, you need to use, you can, how should I say this? You can only use text edits that are made in the same way. So what I mean by that is, if you're using um, text edits that were made on the alpha, and you try and use a text set, a mod with a text edit that was made using the older version of Frosty, your Frosty alpha, your Frosty will crash when trying to launch the game. So I'll I'll try and elaborate just a little bit more and make it more clear. So because this, I'll show you how to read it. So let's look for Darth Bane convenient spacebar. So this is the most recent version of Darth Bane. And here, you can go into the description, look at the affected file, look for localization. This this is basically text edit. This file is what changes the name of the character to Darth Bane. So if you see that, you need to make sure that your uh, uh, other mods that have that same localization edit were also made using the Frosty Alpha. So, let's say you want to use Darth Bane, and perhaps Sir Mies Darth Revan. As you can see here, this is a very popular mod, but it was made using the older version of Frosty, as you can see here, as a localization file. So, you cannot use this Sir Mies Darth Revan and Darth Bane together. It will cause your game to crash. So, once 
So for the last time, just keep your text edits consistent. You can use older text edits on the alpha, but you can't use mods that use text edits made with the alpha. I, ho I hope that's really clear. <laughs> All right then. And that's about it for modding guidelines. I'm gonna talk briefly about people who do not launch Battlefront through, or do not have Battlefront on Origin. Because Origin is basically what I use. Basically all this stuff that we did so far is fine, because uh, it's just all Frost related, but for people who have the game on Steam, Epic Game Store, EA Desktop, even Origin if you want, there's this thing called the Frosty Fix. Now, what it does is basically it launches your your application, your platform launcher, like Steam or Origin, preloaded with mods so you can just launch the game through your application but it will have mods. So I will link this down in the description. For me, I haven't had the most success with it, but I have I have other friends who've tried it and it works perfectly for them. And this is definitely the best uh, way for people who want to mod the game <laughs> that don't have it on Origin. So link them down in the description. Just follow the instructions here. It's not it's not that difficult. So that's about it, guys. I hope I address all the questions and concerns I see. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment if you have any more questions. Subscribe if you're not already. And peace out, guys. Have a good one.